Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us in our webinar series this morning. My name is Shaisa Sarapat, and I will be your moderator for today's session. Today's topic is on customer service strategy for the new business environment, and is hosted by our senior recruitment specialist, Ms. Anjani Ramdeo Manwa, who has a wealth of knowledge and experience in this area. Before I pass you on to our presenter, I will share with you some general housekeeping guidelines. Firstly, you would have noticed once you joined in, your microphones would have been muted, and this is to minimize any distractions during the course of the presentation. Next, any questions that you may have during the webinar can be typed using the chat feature, which will be answered after the presentation. Now on to my colleague, Ms. Anjani Ramdeo Manwa. Anjani? Thank you very much, Shaista. Good morning, all. Thank you for joining us today on this, seminar, on this webinar. Welcome to our company, Eve Anderson Recruitment Limited. We have been in business for over 50 years serving you. Where we serve you, of course, Trinidad and Tobago, within the region and internationally as well. We cover all industries, specialist areas in oil and gas. We can meet and we can customize what you need. What you're going to learn today is why a customer service strategy, a CSS, supports your competitive advantage. How to develop a CSS, components of a CSS, and of course, how we have e at Eve Addison Recruitment Limited can customize training for your staff. Why a customer service strategy supports your competitive advantage? Don't underestimate the value of excellent customer service. It all comes down to creating a memorable experience for your customers. Great customer service as a competitive advantage will increase your loyalty, bring in new customers, and of course increase your revenue and help you stand out from the pack. The first step in creating a customer service strategy is communicating your vision to your employees. Employees need to understand what the vision and the organization goals are for customer service and understand their responsibilities in assisting you in achieving your corporate goals and your visions. Create a compelling vision of customer service to your staff and teach employees customer service skills. Organizations often cannot meet the needs of their customers without understanding what their customers want. An example from Tesla. Meet your customers where they are. Sometimes organizations fail and waste valuable resources because they may design products and services thinking this is what the customer wanted. However, if a needs analysis is done, a customer needs analysis done by soliciting feedback, customer surveys, satisfaction surveys, customer comment cards, and developing a comprehensive plan to meet and exceed your customer needs. Keep in mind, customer needs and expectations are a moving target. Hiring with customer service in mind is another step in your overall plan to strong customer service. Here's where we at Earl can partner with you in doing psychometric assessments, customer service profile, and this will assess whether their personality traits and the, and the skill a person possesses matches what is required to work in a customer service environment. Screen your employees to ensure that they possess the disposition and skill set to help support a customer centric environment, a customer centric work environment. Skills, just remember, skills can be taught, attitude and personalities cannot. Once your customer service needs and expectations are identified and your customer satisfaction is measured, it's time to create goals to achieving your customer satisfaction. Employees need to understand what their targets are and what they can achieve their corporate objectives. If you hire right, your employees will have a natural ability for customer service. However, everyone can benefit from practical training approach based on the organization needs. And again, this is where a psychometric assessment can assist. Employees need to know what you want them to know. And we at Earl again can assist you in establishing some training programs, customize your training programs, such as how to respond to 
customer complaints, how to be responsive to your customers, how to do, how and when to do a customer recovery system, how to answer the phone, how your organization standards for services is done. Hold persons accountable. This is very important. Employees need, need to note that giving good customer service is part of your overall organization and they must be held accountable for giving good customer service. This should form part of your comprehensive performance management system and be part of your cultural norm. There should be a well thought out system to recognize and acknowledge customers and employees for providing good customer service. Components of a customer service strategy. A CSS is most effective when it contains several critical components. And here's a look at what your customer service strategy should include. Customer service. If your company's mission does not focus on customers' happiness, a within customer strategy is a result of a customer centric approach across the entire organization, both internal and external. A recruitment. People are part of your CSS, and in most cases, or at least when things are complicated, a customer will be in re interacting with a human. They will have questions, complaints, and requests. And they will just want to be to feel they've been heard and understand. And ultimately, what they're looking for is to find a solution to their problems. Their customer support team will not give good customer service if they don't have the right tools and if they don't have the ability to use them. They should include a progressive onboarding process and ongoing training program that forms part of your training system so that you get better service over time and certainly be part of your professional development for your staff. A good customer service policy. Having a good customer service policy is part of your strategy is important to provide in consistently good customer service so that your staff have a place to reference for workflows and for policies. Empowering your staff as part of your plan means documenting a framework that gives the employee the level of authority to be able to find a solution for an issue, find a solution to a customer complaint. And very important, an effective feedback loop. A CSS works with ideas, lots of ideas from customers, from employees. A steady feedback loop helps you to improve over time. And if you look at Cracker Barrel, one of their customers feedback is Cracker Barrel is the closest thing to grandma and mom's recipe. And this is why families, entire families like to go to Cracker Barrel because of that reason. Hence, your feedback loop is very important. This is where our subject matter management team at Eve Anderson can meet with you, of course, at this time virtually to do a need and needs analysis on different types of training program, hiring and working remotely, customer care management, among other areas, depending on your needs. Customer service in a pandemic. With the coronavirus forcing large numbers of staff to work from home, customer service and leaders must ensure that our teams remain healthy, engaged, productive in their new work environment. I'm just saying. You know, customer can be tricky, especially if you don't know what to do. For instance, did you know, according to Microsoft, 30% of customers say not being able to talk to a human is the most frustrating part of customer service? Unfortunately, it's true. Bad news travel fast, especially in this age of customer service. If you have a bad experience, it, sh it shares quickly but sometimes a good customer service is never shared. But the, the truth, anxious customers just want to be shown some tender, tender love and care and shouldn't be treated as being difficult customers. If you permit me at this time, I would like to share two personal experiences with difficult 
challenges anxious customers. As a GM of a multi-store retail operation, I was doing training with my staff, on the floor live training. A customer came up and asked, can I get an attendance register? CSR politely said, sorry, we don't have. I went across to talk to the customer and while listening to the customer, I did a mental needs analysis and recognized what the customer want was not an attendance register. He wanted a method to be able to document accurately, efficiently and timely his attendance and punctuality for his employees. He was a security for he had a security firm and he had all sides both for his clients, for the officers and for his payroll department. I was able to show the customer a triplicate invoice book that when that the pages were numbered. So that each party had a document similar to everybody else. This customer was ecstatic. He said this was better than what he needed. He bought several dozens on the spot and was a repeat customer for that same invoice book and of course other items. Let me share another personal experience that I had. Working in a larger retail multi-store operation, my first interaction with a customer was very angry. She had two failed delivery attempts of, a, of an item she bought in store because it was the wrong color that was being delivered. I listened to the customer and I assured her, I will find a resolution. I will find a solution to your problem. I went to the CSR who dealt with the customers to find the item. Only to find out this item came in several different colors and the delivery was from an offsite warehouse and system. I took the CSR with a part of the item to the customer's place to visit the customer to show her the item to identify. The first impression the customer had when we went, total amazement, could not believe and in her words, she was surprised that a GM and a sales associate would take the time to come to see her to solve her problem. I gave her the assurance I was going to ensure she got what she needed. I made arrangement with the offsite warehouse to have the correct item to deliver the customer. I did the follow up. She was ecstatic. She was overjoyed. She was happy. That has been several years, but I still remember my interaction with that, that customer. The first one was anger. Second was amazement. The third happiness. We just think outside the box, but I think customer service, we just put our box away. What we need to do is stand in the customer shoes, listen to them, find a solution. Customers are not angry at us. They come to us for a solution. And sometimes the anger is just a means of expressing what they can't see. They want a solution. Always remember the forefront. It's not personal to us as businesses. It's a solution for the customers, but it's personal to the customer. It's personal to the customer. There is also a saying that the customer is always right. What is a, another way of looking at it? The customer perception of the transaction is what is right. Never devalue, never understand, never underestimate the perception of the customer issue. All the customer is looking for is a solution. Challenges in a crisis. And this crisis we are facing right now is the pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has experienced before. But the right focus, the right skills and support from able managers and peers, there's no reason why organizations can successfully navigate and flourish during these times. There are some ways to revolutionize your customer service. First, employee experience is necessity. Embrace charge, embrace change. Always enable, enable strategies with ROI potential. Be a customer service differentiator. The COVID-19 pandemic has accelerated change in customer service. Daily at home life, both for customers and employees, has forced organizations to look closely at digital transformation as a serious opportunity to provide scale and cost savings to human touch in a time when it's needed the most. Critically review innovations that are affecting both our customers and our employees. 
as this is very much a numbers game. Share your return on investment with your stakeholders will give us that added punch that is needed at this time. I want us to pause for a moment and focus on this quote from Maya Angelou. I've learned that people will never forget, forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you make them feel. Let me just repeat. I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. Some of the key points I would like us to take away from this webinar. The success of every great business is customer service. Success in business relies on you, your employees, and your customer service. You can your business is a great product or service, or even your effective management team, but those things are worth much less without the ability to make your customers happy. Sure, you may have an amazing product and service and may keep your customers happy for a minute, but prepared, someone is going to have a problem and share that experience. So what, is, what are you as a leader or as an employee going to do in this instance? Dismiss the customer? Definitely not. You're going to do your best to find a solution so you don't lose that customer and potentially more. That's why it's so important to cultivate top-notch customer care skills in yourself and every single employee who works with you. Let's enhance and empower employees to be customer service superheroes. Not all superheroes were kids. Some of our superheroes were headset. So let's think about that. Not all heroes wear capes, some wear headsets. Let's, as employers and organization, create raving fans. Just having satisfied customers isn't good anymore. If you want to have a really booming business, you have to create raving fans. And that's a saying from Ken Blanchard. So thank you very much for listening. And if you have any questions, I will certainly be able to answer, help you answer them now. Hi, Anjani, we have a few questions for you. We have our first question is in two parts. Firstly, it goes, how do I set customer service goals for my employees? And the second part of it, what are some ideas for a reward system for customer service representatives? Okay. Let's start with the first question. How do I set customer service goals for my employees? Very simple. Just think of the word SMART, S-M-A-R-T. S, be specific. Direct and measurable. M, measurable. These goals must be quantifiable, A, attainable. It must be realistic, and they must have the right tools to be able to achieve those goals, relevant, meaning it must be aligned to the, the organization objectives. And T, time-based. It will be time bounded. There must be that deadlines. Let's go back to that again. Smart, specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, time based. I hope that answers your question. And if I recall, the second question is on a reward system. That's right. <laughs> OK, so let's look at four common types of reward system. It could be a monetary reward system, and that comes in many ways. It can come as part of a commission structure, a bonus structure, tied into KPIs, which can be paid monthly, quarterly, half annually, or even annually. But again, that is based on the company's policies. Non-monetary reward system. I recall in one of the organizations I work with, I decided to do a reward system for myself. And it was a bunch of young persons, and I know what motiv them, motivated them the most, phone cards. So I set targets and based on the certain achieved targets, there were different levels of phone cards and that was re that was exceptionally well received. So sometimes you have to tailor make again the type of reward based on your staff, their age, um, the department. So it's important to look at all those things and managing what you want to do as a reward system. Another way is employee assistance program and that can come in many different ways. Again, it's based on your organization and the needs of your 
employees. Another one is an employee recognition program. And that program, again, it could be an awards program. It could be a plaque on the wall. It could be um, customer service champion for the month, customer service star for the month. So it depends again on your organization. Certainly we can sit with you and be able to customize a program or a plan for you. I hope I answered your question, Shaisa. Perfect, that worked out well, Anjani. I have another question for you and it goes, how do I turn an angry customer to a loyal customer? Okay. How do I turn an angry customer into a loyal customer? This is where the customer service recovery plan comes in. Listen to the customer. Apologize. Take ownership of the issue. And again, as I said previously, the customer may be right from their perspective. Take ownership. Listen. Apologize. Review the complaint. And you can only review that complaint by listening to the customers. Fix the problem and then follow up with the customer. Sometimes we may have to do more than one follow up to ensure the customer is satisfied, the customer is happy, and certainly that customer will be a repeat customer and would network their, their peers. Ensure you document the problem. The reason for documenting that problem to ensure it never happens, or if it happens, what are the workflows? What are the policies? What can we do to recover? How can we find a solution? I also hope that answers your question, Shaisa. Thank you for that, Anjani. What I will do, I will wait a few minutes more here just to see if we have any more questions coming in before we close off this session. Anyone who has a question, feel free to type it in the chat feature now. All right, I'm not seeing anything coming in at this time. So what I will say is that if anyone has any more questions or wishes to chat with any one of us based on what Anjani would have presented here today, feel free to contact us at 627-8233 or visit our website at www.eveandersonrecruitment.com. Before I leave you here today, what I will say is that feel free to look out for our next webinar session, which is based on understanding payroll. So join us on September 16th at 10 a.m. for our next webinar series, which is on understanding payroll. Thank you all for joining us. I pass you on to Anjani to close up the session. So I would really like to thank you all very much for participating this morning and spending time with us. Much appreciated and certainly feel free to reach out to us if you have any concerns, any further questions. I would like to thank Shyster for partnering with me this morning in this webinar. And let's remember, let's create Raven fans. Thank you so much, folks, and have a good day. Bye bye. Hi, An Hi Anjani. Before we close off, I see one last question coming in. Sorry about that. Okay. And that no question problem. goes, <laughs> that question goes, can I work with your team to build out a CSF? Oh, by certainly by all means, we can meet with you certainly at this time in a virtual environment and do a needs analysis. And from a needs analysis, we can identify what are your corporate objectives, um, what is your customer service policy, and what are your products and services, and who is your target customer service target. So certainly reach out to us, and we would be able to assist you. Okay, great. That seems to be it this time for now. <laughs> Again, feel free to contact us and thank you very much. Anjani, close up. Thank you very much again and be, and be safe, folks. Bye-bye. Have a good day.